Hey guys, this is James from Isotropic, and in this video I want to compare Perf Matters and Asset Cleanup Pro. Both are WordPress plugins dedicated to improving the speed and performance of your WordPress website. So really quickly, I'm going to take a look at pricing and features on both of them, and then get into the actual back-end demo, where we can really see the similarities and differences between the two. So Perf Matters comes in at $24 per year. Um, for a single site license and 15% uh, discount is applied when you renew. Um, for unlimited sites, you get $124 per year. Going over to Asset Cleanup, the same pricing would be $32 per year for a single site, $102 per year for multi-site, and this is actually with Black Friday pricing, so scratch that, uh, $47 and $147 respectively. So we're comparing uh, $24 to $47 and $124 to $147, uh, and it's up to you to make the decision um, as to which plugin is more valuable to you. Hopefully that's what this video is going to show you. So uh, I have both of the plugins installed on a demo website and I kind of wanted to get into this instead of going through the websites uh, of the plugins and, and looking at that because I think this gives you a better picture of what you have. So first let's take a look at everything Perf Matters has to offer, then everything Asset Cleanup has to offer and then compare and contrast the two uh, and poke around with the actual functionalities. So first, Perf Matters backend dashboard gives you options to disable a bunch of different things. Um, so you can disable a lot of uh, things that would cause additional HTTP requests, specifically emojis, utilize the browser's emojis instead. You also have the option to lazy load a bunch of different things. This is a recent addition. Uh, and DOM monitoring is pretty cool because it will dynamically load newly uh, loaded elements. So if you have Ajax on the site, that's what that's for. You also have WooCommerce specific um, specific elements. So if you have global WooCommerce scripts and styles, you can disable them everywhere on the site except for the actual uh, product cart and checkout pages. Next up, you have integration with a CDN. So you can rewrite all of your URLs that you include in directories with your CDN. This is helpful if you use something like um, Cloudways CDN and want to integrate it like this. You can locally host Google Analytics. Um, pretty cool and you can access all of these additional tools. The main thing that Perf Matters has to offer is the scripts manager, which is another selling point of asset cleanup. Uh, and we'll take a look at that in a second, but you can defer, defer, and uh, defer JavaScript, if that makes any sense. Preloading, instant page, look up the plugin called Flying Pages, and that's exactly what this does. When you hover over a link, it will fetch the URL and give uh, the illusion that it was instantaneously loaded. In fact, it was loaded before the user got to the page. Pretty cool. Also set up preload and pre-connect. Preload for fonts, very nice uh, and helpful. Um, you have database cleaning tools, so you can optimize your database. Uh, and finally, the tools for the plugin specifically. The Script Manager is a major selling point on this plugin, and you can use it globally or apply it to individual posts, pages, and content types. So here is a post, if you see. And in this post, I have an image, I have a contact form, I have uh, a script being called, and I have a bunch of content generated by a plugin called FakerPress. And I'll show you how to get to the Script Manager. When you have Perf Matters installed, and let me get to the post. When you have Perf Matters installed, on the admin bar, once you have enabled Script Manager, you click on that and it loads the Script Management utility. And here, it displays all the scripts loading on the current page um, and classifies them by plugin. I only have one plugin on this site to show you how it works, which is Contact Form 7. Here, you can toggle everything on and off. You can also work on things uh, specific to the theme and there are miscellaneous elements here as well. So I'll show you what happens when you toggle something on or off. And and you have a couple options here and this is disabling the theme styling so it should break the entire theme when we save this. But it's going to basically take this script and stop it from loading on this page and you can stop it everywhere. You can also stop it on the current URL or you can write a regular expression rule to match it to specific patterns of pages. I'm only going to do it on the current URL now and just click save. And once this saves, 
I don't know if it will reload or there we go. Once it's saved, I can go back, get out of the perf matters um, page and go here and it will show you that this is broken because there's no CSS styling anymore. Now what we can also do is toggle this back on, save, and go back to this page and our CSS is back. Now this is helpful not if you're trying to break your site but if you have a bunch of plugins loading uh, specific if you have a bunch of plugins loading specific scripts and styles on pages where they're not used. So for a good example of this would be WooCommerce um, or Contact Form 7. Actually, let's go with the Contact Form example. So Contact Form 7, uh, you're probably only going to use Contact Form 7 on the contact page. So in this example, the URL slug would be contact. It would only load on that page. On additional pages, Contact Form 7 still globally loads all its scripts and styles which adds to the loading time of a website. What you can do is disable contact form seven scripts and styles like so, and you can do it everywhere except for the current URL and say this, this page is a contact page. So contact form seven scripts and styles are disabled everywhere except for the contact page, which means on any other page that you're browsing, because this is turned on, it won't be loading these additional scripts and styles. Speed to won't add to the loading speed of the website. This is helpful, especially if you're running dozens of plugins uh, and allows you to disable a bunch of different things. You can also globally manage your scripts. Uh, so if you have global script disabled, um, that's how you can do that. Uh, additional things, couple settings here, and that's really what Perf Matters has to offer you. Um, so you get a bunch of little code snippets, and all of this can be done by code snippets, but you basically have it in a nice graphical user interface. Um, you can access lazy loading, which would have to be done by a third-party plugin if you didn't have this, uh, or an image optimization plugin. Easily integrate a CDN, locally host Google Analytics, preload, prefetch, um, and defer JavaScript, which is helpful. And this is included in a lot of performance plugins like um, WP Rocket, something like that. Um, so basically you're getting a lot of performance utilities um, minus a caching tool in this plugin. Now let's compare this to Asset Cleanup Pro, which is the reigning champion, in my opinion, of uh, optimization of a website. So first, we're going to go through all of the backend utilities and then take a look at their version of the script manager. Main thing here. You can enable test mode, which means you don't have to push changes live to see if they break the site. Uh, test mode is, is pretty helpful in all honesty. Optimize CSS, so you can merge, minify, and defer CSS. And this is the pro version. Uh, you can optimize JavaScript, merge, minify, defer JavaScript. Um, very helpful. You, you basically take a bunch of individual scripts and merge them into one file, which reduces the number of requests to the server, which speeds things up. Like Perf Matters, you can set up a CDN URL rewrite, except this is a little more, um, more in depth. You can set up your style sheet and your JavaScript CDN. Um, you can set up the common unloads on the site and these are th this is unload is the same term as disable script except or disable utility except they call it unload on asset cleanup so you can do that here too as you can see um, there's something called html source cleanup and this just removes a lot of link tags and additional things that wordpress automatically includes if you don't use them uh, it would clean it up it, i'm not sure how much of a difference it would make to the speed of your site but it's there um, local font optimization, preload font files, pretty helpful. Um, this is this is really great for for many WordPress websites. You can also set up global font display rules. You can do that with a code snippet as well. Final option here is Google Fonts. If you're using Google Fonts and want to preload them, this is the place to do it. This is really helpful because preloading fonts uh, speeds things up and fixes a page speed um, insights. Uh, what are they called? PageSpeed Insights, I'm missing the word, uh, audit, a PageSpeed Insights audit that would be failed if you didn't preload your fonts. Finally, disable XML RCP. And then you have a couple other things. You have a CSS and JavaScript manager, so you can globally, um, globally disable, um, similar to what you can do in, uh, in 
in perf matters except you can see this is a little more um complex than what perf matters has to offer let's go back here here you can turn things on and off and disable them here you can globally you can turn things on and off you can set it up like so but for specifically for javascript you can set up asynchronous loading defer the loading um, inline the javascript there are a lot of things that you can do here um, which is very helpful so you can see that this is a little more powerful uh, in in relation to the global script loading now let's go to our page and instead of going to the front end of the website and clicking script manager and doing it like that with asset cleanup you go to the back end of the page it scans the page on the front end let's delete this and gives you a list of everything that's been being loaded on this specific url so here's your page url and here's everything being loaded on it on the specific page you can disable it you can also set it up site-wide from the same page um, media queries pretty cool uh, again asynchronous and defer deferred loading for javascript and then you have your theme files here as well as you can see the only additional thing that uh, this locates and this doesn't locate are some of these hard-coded elements directly in the actual page so it scans the page and it will go ahead and find hard-coded scripts so I have included here a script tag loading the GASP animation library. And if you notice here, Perf, Matter, Perf Matters isn't finding that, but Asset Cleanup is. And it's in fact allowing me to unload this on the page uh, and make an exception. So if the user's logged in, I can load it um, and, and a couple other things. So comparing specifically the script management tools, um well now we'll get into the comparison comparing specific oh actually we won't get into the comparison there are a couple other things that asset cleanup has to offer too you have a plugins manager so you can disable a plugin uh throughout the website this is really helpful so say you have woocommerce and you just want to disable it um unless it's on the woocommerce page you can do that here using regex simple easy click some buttons everything's done apply the changes manage the plugins there are also you you got bulk changes so you can bulk unload tools style sheets stuff like that preload defer and async site wide um, and then you can also access an overview of what this plugin is actually applying to your website um, and then you have your basic tools for asset cleanup so that's basically what asset cleanup has to offer and that's what perf matters has to offer if you can see now the initial conclusion is that asset cleanup is a little more powerful than perf matters and perf matters is a little less powerful than asset cleanup but it's also cheaper so you're paying less for less features you're paying more for more features this is also a more mature plugin so i would expect perf matters to continuously be adding features that pushes it closer to asset cleanup and they're actually increasing their price because they're adding more features i think it was 19 dollars last time i checked now it's 25. the main thing to think about here is perf matters is 24 dollars asset cleanup is $47 perf matters offers a bunch of specific features it gives you lazy loading it gives you a couple things related to fonts asset cleanup offers you a couple more features it allows you to minify and merge and defer and combine CSS and JavaScript this is something that sets it apart from perf matters a lot it gives you a test mode so you can test everything on your site on the live site without having to do any staging or without risking breaking the entire site for everybody and it just gives you a little a little more for for fonts fonts optimization is important Google likes it so that's important here too however with this perf matters you can augment the features that it's missing with several free plugins and i wanted to mention this because it brings perf matters closer to asset cleanup pro so the first plugin is free sold deactivate plugins i'm not going to install it. i'm not going to install these two plugins that i talk about but this allows you to essentially unload plugins as you would with asset cleanup this is a free plugin it's really well done as you can see five stars um, from 32 people and that's about it 
You can also merge and minify your JavaScript and CSS by using this plugin, Merge, Minify, and Refresh. Now, what this does is exactly what you can do here with Asset Cleanup. This is integrated into Asset Cleanup, and there are little more features that come with this. However, if you're looking for merging and minifying and you don't have a plugin like WP Rocket and you don't want to splurge on Asset Cleanup, you can get Perf Matters, get this plugin, and get this plugin and have a very similar functionality to Asset Cleanup Pro. Now, it depends on what you're doing on your website. If you have a website that is larger and needs more optimization and you want all of your settings in one place, and it's mission critical that you test everything before pushing things live, I would 100% rec recommend Optimize at Asset Cleanup Pro. This is a really nice plugin. It's really well done. New features are being added all the time. Uh, we use this on many of our websites and it, it just comes with a lot of features and it's, it's well done. As you can see, um, deferring is really nice. Uh, Hard-coded scripts are recognized because it actually scans the source code of the page as opposed to perf matters, which I believe is scanning for requests on the page um, and maybe link tags and maybe something like that. So you have more, more control with Asset Cleanup Pro and you have more options with Asset Cleanup Pro. With that, you're paying about $20 more for the tool per year for a single site. So you can go ahead and use Perf Matters. They have a script manager. If you're just looking to disable scripts, this is really helpful. Um, you also have options to do a lot more with this tool as well. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't come up to the features that you get with Asset Cleanup Pro, but it's, it's getting close and they're continuing to add more features as well. And then finally, you can augment this $25 plugin as opposed to the $47 plugin with two free plugins that add these, these main things, a plugin manager and the CSS and JavaScript optimization. Here's your plugin manager and here is your optimization tool. Um, obviously, it's not integrated into Perf Matters, so that's something to take take a look at. But um, it brings it closer to Asset Cleanup Pro. If I had to recommend something and uh, money wasn't that much of an issue, it's only a twenty dollar difference. I would go for Asset Cleanup Pro. It's an older plugin. The developer behind it offers great support. Um, Perf Matters does too, so. That, that's not really a differentiating factor, but the, the developer offers great quick support for Asset Cleanup Pro. Um, I've been in contact with him in the past. Uh, furthermore, um, it's just, a, it's an all-in-one tool for optimization. The only additional thing you need to add to a website would be caching. Um, and even uh, without caching, this makes things a lot quicker. Um, Perf Matters is a good plugin. It's cheaper. It's also newer, so it has less features, but it, it's it's doing all right. I mean, if you're just looking for something to disable scripts on a per page basis and maybe uh, clean up your HTTP requests and add lazy loading, then this is a good option too. So there are two great options. Basically what it boils down to is, do you want more power and do you want to pay more for more features or do you want a little less power and do you want to pay less for less features and maybe augment them with two free plugins. So I hope this kind of gave you a good overview between the two plugins. Um, they're very similar. They are very powerful. Whichever tool you choose is a good idea because increased speed comes with increased ranking, uh, user experience, everything, the whole nine yards. You already know that, which is why you're watching this video. Um, and that's it. Uh, I've used both a lot in different websites. I like both. And that's uh, kind of my comparison video for those two plugins. If you have any questions, reach out in the comments section below. Check out our blog at isotropic.co slash blog. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, share, and I'll see you in the next video.